What's going on guys? Got a video today just covering the gaming side of the Nvidia Shield. A little bit delayed. I know some people have been waiting for it so I appreciate your patience on that. I'm not going to cover the emulator side of the Shield simply because it would make this video far too long. I'll do it in a separate video so anyone who's just looking for that can just check that video out without having to see all the other stuff the Shield can do in terms of gaming. Now the first thing I'm going to show you is the GeForce Now and this is simply a subscription based service from Nvidia. It's about seven or eight pound a month. I'm not too sure off the top of my head but I will leave a dis uh, proper information in the description down below regarding that but I'm sure it's about seven pound. So this is the interface you get. As you can see here, these games have a price on them. These do not come with the subscription. You buy these separately, like The Witcher 3 is a very recent game. You pay for that separate and a couple of others. And below that is the new for members area and all this stuff. This is all stuff that comes on the subscription. Anything without a price on, you are enabled to play. Now, when you first get the Shield, you do get a couple of months free subscription, so that's good. It gives you a good amount of time to test the service out, see if you like it, and then if you do, you can opt to pay for it. If you don't, then cancel out of it. One thing I will say, when you do set this up, you do have to put your credit card details in. So, make sure you don't forget that you put your credit card details in, and after your couple of months, you get charged for it. Just keep that in mind. Now when you open your games, you get this nice little Android TV interface. You get some screenshots from within the game. You get a little bit of read up on the game. And it also tells you if it can be multiplayer. So if you go left to right as well, usually in the other menus, you will get to the other games. I'll just show you that quickly. Like left to right there. but. As that's there on its own there is no option for that so I'm gonna open this and play it and just show you guys what these games from Nvidia look like let you decide if it's worth buying for yourselves if you're into big into gaming I would say this is a must buy um, simply because you get so many options if you use a gaming PC with an NVIDIA graphics card then it's absolutely excellent for what I'm going to show you in the next part of this video which is game streaming. That was the main reason I bought this shield. I know it has its media side advantages with Kodi and stuff but for me the sole purpose for buying it was for the game streaming. These games I don't really play that much because I'm so big into playing PC games. But they are nice to have, especially for a free couple of months anyway. Just going to let this game load up and I'll show you what it looks like graphically. It does have an online mode this game. Um, quite a few of them do, which is good. I know a lot of people do like to play online. I've not had any issues with these games either guys. Nvidia must have a really good server because you get no lag and stuff like that. We'll just have a quick look around the options before we start the game. There's your track information. And here you can do a little bit of editing for your bike and stuff like that which is a nice addition. But we're just going to go straight into a race. So you can see what this looks and performs like. Now I'm using um, Ethernet cable. I've got a 100 meg internet connection. This should run fine on anything 30 megabytes and above using um, LAN cable. So I would not recommend running this on Wi-Fi guys. There we go. We've fell straight off there. I'm crap at this game. But I hope you can get a good representation of what the graphics look like on this. Um, 
this video is shooting in 4K, so hopefully you can get a decent look at what it's like. I do apologise for my terrible motorbike driving. <laughs> But yeah, this is what the games from NVIDIA look like. I'm going to quickly just do one more corner so you can get a little bit more of a look at this without me falling off. Then we'll go and check something else out. Right, there we go. We've had enough of this. We will exit out of this. Go to the home screen. Right. So the next thing that I want to show you guys is, I'll just show you these games quickly. Now I pulled these from the Google Play Store, from the Android TV Store. I'll just show you quickly what it looks like. There's loads of games and stuff in here. Some are paid, there's a lot of free ones. I just picked a couple of free ones up and I'll show you how these run. I do believe these are games that you can get for Android in general. You know android tablets android phones i do believe this game is also on um ios so it is a multi-platform game this but it's nice to be able to just go and directly get this from the play store especially if you have kids i'm crap at this game as well don't play a lot of android games well check out this Pac-Man game as well. Don't know what this is all about. I just downloaded it. Looks like a little bit of a revamp on Pac-Man. And as you can see, it caters for all. You've got some Android games that cover the kids. You've got some games from NVIDIA, what cover um, older kids maybe. If you've got kids that are in, in the teens that you don't really want to be using a PlayStation or anything yet. Stuff like that, so yeah. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show you is for me, the most important part of the NVIDIA Shield regarding gaming. And it's the game stream this here is my PC I've left this here purposely guys because this is my PC also only since setting this up I've rewiped my PC completely um, wiped the operating system and reapplied it it, do, it for some reason I cannot get rid of the old setup I've had a look online and to do that you have to make a new account there's no way of deleting it yet so that's just a little heads up for someone and this is my PC here now the little green dot next to the desktop shows you that the PC is online these are the games that um, the shield has already automatically detected as being compatible with the game stream so we'll quickly jump into Skyrim. This is opening on my PC as well. You may hear the sound twice. You will hear it coming from my PC monitor. And you'll also hear it coming from the TV. It's running in um, Ultra HD, the highest settings of the game can have. Anyone who's played Skyrim knows that it's still a great game. So I just started it really quickly to to show you guys this from the beginning I have recorded some of the cutscenes I'll include them side by side if possible but here we go this is running from my PC so it's also being shown on my PC screen but I'm streaming it to the shield box and it is covering um, the TV stream into the TV so I'm just gonna run around here for a little minute there are certain graphics cards that you have to um, use with this we'll just get a look up at the graphics there so you can see 
there are certain um, graphics cards that you do have to have for this I think it starts from a 770 and obviously goes all the way up to the Titan but yeah it's great for someone who does like to PC game like if I don't want to sit at the PC and use a keyboard and mouse I'll stick this on sit on the bed and play it with the controller um, you can manually add games as well to this for um, you know if Nvidia game stream services hasn't natively found it you can force it to find the games as well but what I tend to do is I will just show you now we will quit this game as I'll just show you the, the controls it's natively set up with the controls to just work and that's what the Nvidia game stream software does give you but there's also steam big picture now I'm gonna open this and this will open my steam library and here you can see all my steam games and stuff like that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open Ark Survival I'm gonna play this and I'm just going to show you how a game would run that isn't compatible with like straight off the bat with um, playing with this with the software that Nvidia gives you now I'm using this as my mouse cursor right now I'm just going to open a brand new game Hopefully this works natively with the controller. If it doesn't, I'll quickly set it up to work with the controller. This again is running in 1080p HD, high, highest settings of the game. My graphics card is capable of handling that. So that's how it's going to stream it. It's just loading up the world right now. This is a survival game for anybody that doesn't know. The, the actions you see on the screen here are exactly what is going on on my PC screen in real time. There's no kind of delay or anything like that. It's just running absolutely sweet. We'll just make a random character and we'll create that. And there's the game loaded. Hopefully I'll be able to run, a, I've been spawned into an area here where I can run around and yeah there we go we've got native controls with the controller straight away so this is a game that according to Nvidia game stream is not compatible but as you can see right now I've not changed any settings with the game I've just opened it from my Steam library and it's working fine with the controller I'm gonna run around for a few minutes and show you the graphics on this game because it is a brilliant game there we there we go we can see a dino there straight away it's a very graphically intense game you can see here just by looking at the water how good the graphics are on this game you can see clear water we'll go and take a close look at a dino this is the same quality that I get from my PC monitor my gaming PC monitor so as you can see we've got really nice graphics no lag at all which is the most important thing i think most people would sacrifice a little bit of graphics for a smoother gameplay but you don't have to do that with the shield we can see the graphics are great the gameplay is great you can see the ground shaking from the dinos walking we'll just have another little run up here Hopefully don't bump into no predators. See if we can show you anything different.
doesn't seem to be anything around so I'm gonna exit the game here and wrap up the video I wish I could show you every game in my library but that would just be ridiculous and be way too long for a video nobody would watch it <laughs> this video has run on for 15 minutes already so I'm gonna end it here I may do a part two to this and cover some different games if I get some great feedback on it that about sums up the shield if I was to recommend anybody to buy it then I'd say go ahead and do it providing you've got decent internet and you've got a decent PC to stream from other than that there's I would not say to anybody not to buy it the media side of the PC is brilliant Cody runs fine as you've seen in my other videos Plex runs fine a lot of other stuff runs fine native apps that you'd get on um, Android devices such as BT Sports, Skygo, all that malarkey they all run fine all around for the price it cannot be beaten I know that Steam have brought out the Steam Link and the Steam Controller I'd be interested to check it out but I'm not going to buy it simply because I have this and this covers everything I need if I do pick it up then I will do a comparison video but that about sums up everything I want to say guys I hope this has cleared up a little bit of ground on whether you want to get this as a gamer or not thanks for watching and I look forward to reading some feedback in the comments. Cheers, guys.